Well, at least we all know why Thor isn't in Captain America's Civil War. That's because he has his own war going on. Hey there everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here and I'm here to review The Huntsman Winter's War. So The Huntsman Winter's War is a prequel sequel to Snow White and The Huntsman. The film stars Chris Hemsworth, Jessica Chastain, Emily Blunt, and Charlize Theron. And The Huntsman Winter's War is about when the Ice Queen, played by Emily Blunt, she forbids love in the kingdom after she experiences something very tragic. Then the Huntsman and the Warrior, who are very good friends, you know, they develop love as they grow up and then they get separated. However, years later, they reunite. So the Huntsman, the Warrior, along with the Dwarves, one of them being played by Nick Frost. They have to go find an evil mirror because this evil mirror has so much control on people and makes them do things that they don't want to do. So it must be destroyed in order to save the kingdom and the people that are controlled. Now, I'll be honest with you guys, when I heard about this movie, um, I actually was interested in it. I, I would actually even go out of my way and say I was excited for this film because I thought the trailer looked really great. However, I was not a fan of Snow White and the Huntsman. I really wasn't. I just didn't care for it. It wasn't a bad movie, but it was such a boring movie. I almost fell asleep watching that movie. I was hoping this movie would improve from that because like I said, I thought the trailer looked really good honestly and I love the cast. I love that Jessica Chastain and Emily Blunt were added in this film. They're gorgeous ladies, they're very talented and I just wanted to see how this film would be handled. And I will definitely say this, I do think this is better than Snow White and the Huntsman. I will definitely just say that straight off the bat. But, is it a good movie? Unfortunately, it's not. But, of course, there are plenty of things that I did find enjoyment in when it comes to the Huntsman Winter's War. Definitely, Chris Hemsworth, just like in Snow White and the Huntsman, he is great here. You could tell Chris Hemsworth was just having a lot of fun as the Huntsman. He does a really good job here. He, ju he just brings such a nice screen presence playing this character and he was really good here and Jessica Chastain man she is so great in this film too. I really enjoyed her as the warrior and I actually thought she pulled off a pretty good accent. I liked the accent that she used. I thought the accent fit for the character she was playing and it was honestly just very cool to see Jessica Chastain just playing this role. And I do think that the Huntsman and the Warrior you do buy them as these friends that grown up to have feelings for each other and I would honestly probably say that's the thing I enjoyed the most about this film. I enjoyed seeing the Huntsman and the Warrior together. I enjoyed their screen presence, their romance that's going on, their romance banter. You could just tell these two gave it their all in this film and I would say as far as performances go, Hemsworth and Chastain in my humble opinion were the standouts. Nick Frost was also really good in this film too. I really enjoyed Nick Frost. It was cool to see him back from Snow White and the Huntsman to be in this film. I like some of the comic relief in this film. This film does actually try to be fun. Um, I would say for the most part it tries to be fun and there was some comic relief that actually did make me laugh honestly pretty hard. Some moments really did work for me and it's mainly when it comes to like Nick Frost and this female dwarf that tags along with the Huntsman, the Warrior, and him. Cinematography in the film honestly looks very gorgeous. When you look at the kingdom, when you look into the locations that you see the characters take a journey to, honestly it looks very beautiful. The lighting looks great and I just really like the setting of where the characters are 
taking their journey on. The action was mildly entertaining. Of course, I'll get more into why I think it's just mildly, but you know, whenever the action's there, you know, it did have me at least mildly entertained, and I'll say the visuals look decent. However, they don't look anywhere near as great as the visuals in Snow White and the Huntsman because even though I find Snow White and the Huntsman to be a very mediocre movie, I will say the visuals in that film were definitely the standout. The visuals here, they were decent, at least in some spots I felt they were decent. And I will say I liked who they got to narrate for this movie, like I'm not going to spoil who the narrator is, but the actor that they got to narrate this movie honestly just put a big smile on my face. And I will say that I did have fun with the climax of Snow White and the Huntsman. You know, I just had a lot of fun watching it. Now my problems with the Huntsman Winter's War is that Emily Blunt, unfortunately, she wasn't that good in this film. Now, I'm going to say this because I have been reading and watching reviews that say that she gives a horrible performance. I don't think her performance is horrible. She was just mediocre. You know, she was fine at best. But yeah, she was very bland in the movie. She did feel very one note for most of the movie. I felt like her acting actually got better in the climax because in the climax she did provide some emotion to her character but before the climax. Not terrible, but man, she wasn't good and it probably is her weakest performance, which is sad to say because She's a talented actress, and I was looking forward to seeing what they would do with her, but unfortunately, the material she's given here really wasn't that great. Now I get to what I do believe is the worst performance of the film, and that's unfortunately Charlize Theron. Now, it's ironic for me to say that because I think as far as acting goes, she was the standout in Snow White and the Huntsman. She was Honestly, fantastic. She blew me away. She was by far one of the most memorable things about Snow White and the Huntsman. And the Huntsman Winter's War, first of all, she's barely in this film. In fact, I don't even know why the posters listed her as the second main character and put Jessica Chastain last, when personally I think it should have been flipped around. I think Jessica Chastain should have been listed as the second main character and Charlize Theron should have been the one in that and part of the marketing because honestly, she's only in the beginning for a little bit. And she doesn't appear, honestly, again until literally the third act of the movie. And there's no point. It was pointless to bring her back. Why did they even bring her back in the first place? I thought her acting here, honestly, was very cringeworthy. She was very over the top. She honestly felt like an absolute cartoon. And it honestly really sucks to say that because I think Charlize Theron is a really talented actress to be honest. And the sister rivalry thing, that's barely in the film. The marketing wants to tell you that the main plot is that there's a sister rivalry between Emily Blunt and Charlize Theron when that's barely in the film. That's really not focus. That's not the main focus on the film. So the marketing is even very misleading as far as what the main storyline is. Now, as I said, some of the comic relief has worked for me, but unfortunately, most of the comic relief does come off as forced, in my opinion. Most of them just didn't work out. Now, as I said, I do find the action scenes mildly entertaining, and the reason I say mildly instead of fully it's because I do feel like personally, while the action scenes were honestly just serviceable, I do feel like they could have been better filmed. I did feel like personally the action scenes just cut a little bit too quick for me to get engaged. And just the filming of those scenes I did feel like could have been improved. Now sometimes visually the film looks decent. I can't say there's a single moment where it looked good, but it looked decent. But for most of the movie, the visual effects 
honestly look pretty bad. I'm not gonna lie, they actually look pretty darn bad. Especially when the Ice Queen is just showing her icy powers, like when she goes boom, and then you see all that ice. Oh my goodness, that looked really bad from there. It just looked very out of place. It got really distracting. And considering how great the visuals were in Snow White and the Huntsman, there was honestly no excuse for the visuals to look that out of place. How Snow White's presence in the film was handled was honestly very dumb in my opinion. It was just a piss poor excuse honestly for how they handled her presence without going into too much detail. It is a very by the numbers movie in terms of storytelling, you know where the movie's gonna go. And I will say the whole thing with the Ice Queen forbidding love. That is honestly pretty dumb, it is. And look, I understand why, because when you watch the film, you could see why she wants to forbid love, but for her to forbid it for everyone else, honestly, I didn't really buy into that. Overall, you guys, I'm gonna say this about The Huntsman Winter's War. I do think it's better than Snow White and the Huntsman. While Snow White and the Huntsman, I found it to be a mediocre, very bland, very unengaging movie. Didn't hate it, but I was just bored watching it. So I'm gonna give The Huntsman that. At least I didn't want to fall asleep through it. But there are a lot of problems in this movie that do keep it from being a good movie. I'm gonna give The Huntsman Winter's War two and a half out of four stars. So you guys, in the comments down below, let me know what you think about The Huntsman Winter's War. This is 22 Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power!